So since I just made a video on five things younger people should know, I wanted to ask around my family on things they wish they knew when they were younger. And I got some pretty good answers. So first off, starting with my grandmother who's 71. She says she wished that she knew how to budget when she was younger. And it's kind of funny how there's such a disconnect because when I grew up, budgeting was something that was, didn't even really need to be taught to me. I was always a good saver. I was always very frugal. And that's really cool that the struggle, <laughs> the struggles are so different between generations. And then the next thing she said is she wishes she never got with my grandfather. Now, I don't, you know, I'm pretty glad that she did because otherwise I wouldn't be here, be here making this video, so. I'm pretty glad that uh, she didn't know that. So next up is my mother, 38, and she says she wishes she was less like her mom. And in the way she said this is she wished she didn't hold on to things so much like her, her mother did. I think that's awesome. A lot of people do hold on to stuff too much. And my aunt, who is 52, says she wishes she finished school which is an awesome, awesome goal because I never even realized this, but I did not value education when I was in school at all. Now that I've been out of school for two years, education is actually something I value so much and seek out to learn about other things so much. And not particularly stuff that was taught in school. Like sure, I do wish I paid more attention in earth science since it's something that's super prevalent in my life right now. Otherwise, school kind of does suck, but yeah, education is important and you don't realize it until you're out of school. My friend Richard, who is 20 years old, says don't value yourself based off of how others value you. A lot of people do value themselves based off of what they perceive others to value them as. You shouldn't go off of that because first of all, you're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, thinking you're, you're always gonna assume the worst with somebody or you're gonna assume too much and then look like a, like a huge dork. You should always just focus on improving yourself and be the best person you can be and then anybody who cares will care. So next up is my cousin who is 28. He says she wishes that she would pick one class in college and stick with it. I know why because she's been in college, she graduated high school and that's a long time to be in and out of college. Now obviously she wasn't in college for 10 years straight but she has been in college all of those years. I would wish I'd known that too, because kind of realize no matter what, you're gonna hate everything in college. <laughs> I'm not saying that's with everybody, but there's, I, I looked at going to college. I just realized there's nothing that you'd even want to do in college. What field would you want to go to that actually make you happy? You would never actually know you enjoyed that field until you went through the four years of hell in schooling and then getting the job and you're like, bro, really? I just went to school for that and in debt the rest of my life for that. And then next up, my cousin's boyfriend, who is 27, says he wishes he knew to go to trade school rather than college. And when he was 18, I'm pretty sure that this would have been great information because he would have had maybe 10 years under his belt now of doing a, a skill or a trade. So yeah, that's all the people that I asked. I wanted to interview people for this video, but I thought it was too inappropriate to be broadcasting your personal life, your family to the internet and doing this. It's just a bunch of nameless faces that I'm talking about, so whatever. And I wanna make a series out of this. I wanna make a series of asking you guys questions about anything really, just discussing it in a video. Oh. So here's my question for the next video. What's a bad experience that you've had, but that led to a great lesson? I think that's a good question. So comment it below and you'll be featured in next video. That's all there is to it.